Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 4.7, we see how to document resources. So first, we see how to enter notes for a resource and how to show the notes column. For this tutorial, you can use the sample project prepared at the end of lesson 4.6 available on group.net. To enter notes for a resource, we simply double click that particular resource. The resource information tab opens. It has the general tab, the cost tab, the notes tab and the custom fields. We can go to the notes tab and type the notes for that particular resource. And change the font. Change the font size and all those kind of settings are available. We can change the indentation. We can add bullets if we want and press OK. Let us say we want to enter notes for another. So we can say check for latest system and we can change the font, change the size, etc. For every resource for which a note has been entered, a symbol like this is shown in the indicators column. Now, how to make the notes column appear? We click on the add new column and from the long list we scroll down to the notes column. When we click it automatically the notes for that particular resource are shown. So to summarize we have seen how to enter notes for a resource and how to show the notes column. A sample of the project plan completed up to this stage is available on group.net. Thank you for joining us on this tutorial. In the next part of the video tutorial series, we see how to assign work resources to tasks.